Hi friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How you doing? Welcome to my channel. And thank you for joining me. I'm here to finish out my December daily for 2019. I finished this page. It was simple, but I wanted to figure out the paper I mentioned in my last video. So I did go ahead and glue this Happy New Year down on this last page here. And it was this piece of uh, paper was from the Happy New Year crowns like that you get at uh, Walmart or whatever, those little crowns that you wear on your head. Yeah, I just cut this off of there and put it right down there. And I think that's super pretty. I really like the red and blue combination here. This has stars on it, this paper too. So I really like how that turned out. And then the bottom part I said in my last video when I was doing December 30th, I wanted to look for some paper to write on. So I just happened to have taken apart a journal here, a little book that I'm possibly going to do something with. And it had this neat graph paper in there. I was like, that is exactly what I want. I want that blue, this pretty blue uh, graph paper to write on. And it matches the paper, you know, the blue paper. So what I did was write down my accomplishments for 2019. And then I wrote down my goals for 2000. This is part of 2019. These are my goals for uh, 2020. So I have them handy right in this pocket. I um, wrote the day and date on this paper here like I've been doing the date and the day. And then I wrote, put my little red number right down here like I've been doing, put a number on each page. So I've got my red number right down here in the pocket right there. And so I'm done. I'm done with, uh, I did every single day. So <laughs> there we go. And if you remember, I put this little um, ribbon here to uh, kind of contain the signature and the other second signature for next year as I was working on it. So this is going to be tied up like this. You can see how compact I can get it now with that. I really like that. It's, I feel like it's, it's like so perfect because, uh, I mean, if you make journals, you know uh, what uh, kind of... Uh, <laughs> kind of, uh, anyway, it's just challenging to figure out what kind of tie closure to do. And this is so nice because, first of all, it's wrapped around the signature. It's not pulling on anything. It's not going to come out. It's just so, it's so perfect. I might try to do this, and this is the first time I ever did it. I just had the idea with this journal. So I might try to do it with some of the journals I make for my Etsy shop now, too, because it worked out I mean, I just really love it. So anyway, again, I was going to do a quick flip through because you've seen everything. But also, did you notice there's no room for another signature here? I mean, I did bind it. Here's my, I just did, you know, it's one signature. I put a one string here and some wax cord and bound it in. But it, you saw it when it was open, it was like this. And then I can, you know, condense it down to this. So it actually sits really nice when it's closed. I don't really need another closure on it, I don't feel like. So uh, yeah, and that's the Graphic 45 paper, the fabric, and my 2019. So if I sit it on a t you know, somewhere, I can see that this is my 2019 December daily. So quick flip through, I had put 2019 right here. Oh, by the way, here's my signature for next year. This is how, see this right here? Same number of pages as this. This is how this started out. I mean, look how skinny this is. Is, is that amazing or what? So, yeah. <laughs> I had no idea it would get this fat. I never really uh, finished a journal before. I've always kind of... I kind of journal, but not every day, you know? So, I've never finished one, if you know what I mean. I don't know. I just never have. I've always kind of do it for a while and stop and then do some more and stop for a while and do like two pages and stop again. So this was really cool and a good experience for me to understand how it all works. You know, if, because I make journals, it was a good experience for me to know what is really needed because, you know, I did the whole signature every day. So anyway, a quick flip through again as a reminder. Oh, and I did find it rather difficult to bind the journal after this was done. You know, I thought... I liked it during the process of doing every day and having a flex flexibility, but I didn't e ever really move anything around, so I didn't need that flexibility of moving pages around or adding pages or taking pages away. 
I had the right number, number of pages to begin with and I did not move anything around so I really didn't didn't need that flexibility the flexibility that was good was to be able to take a page out and work on it or you know turn it you know without turning all the pages and so I like that but I think next year I will go ahead and bind it because I found it rather dif rather difficult to bind this after it's all done and bulk bulked out like this it was rather difficult to bind it so I won't do that again I wouldn't I wouldn't advise it if you want to try it go ahead but I didn't really uh, like it I, I did manage to bind it but uh, it was you know a little bit more I mean it's not impossible but it just was a little bit more difficult to get everything straight uh, with this bulkiness you know what I mean and since it was mine it doesn't didn't really matter but you know what I mean to do it right and do it really sturdy and good uh, not a good idea to do it when it's all bulked out like this <clears throat> so quick flip through uh, as you saw the first page here's one I'll just do I just do a flip through I'm not going to even explain any journaling cards or anything just so you can see how pretty it turned out here's two this page right here three wait a minute I'm on the, okay one this was two right here this card I did do two just on a card just by coincidence and it was good that I did that because I mean I could have done December 31st back here but this ended up being December 31st and I ended up having enough pages because I get, did two on here and I didn't even plan that or anything I didn't even I didn't plan it so next year I could add another page so that I don't you know have to use a card for a day but I didn't have much to but much to do on that day anyway so a card for a day could be a good challenge to uh, challenge yourself to save a page and do it a day on a card so anyway that was two this is three four five six here seven eight nine good refresher for me too pretty cool <laughs> this was a lot of fun ten eleven a lot of fun here this is good good memories twelve 13, little Santa hat, <laughs> 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, wait a minute, wait, I'm back, I'm somehow out of order, 17, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and this was a card, yeah, card with a pocket, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and we're done. <laughs> 31 and done. So that was fun. That was a lot of fun. And uh, if you didn't do it this year, you know, think about it throughout the year and maybe get a little things, you know, put a little, put things aside when you see them and be ready to go uh, December 1st of next year. It was totally worth it and a lot of fun and I love it that I'm going to have these this to remember and look back on. So very cool and there you go. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the December daily of 2019. Happy crafting everyone.